Hey everyone, Belinda's here. Today's topic is Scorsese versus Scorsese at the Oscars 2024. Please subscribe before continuing to explore the world of cinema with us. Martin Scorsese needs no introduction. He's among the most legend filmmakers of all time, with a body of work that includes some of the most influential movies ever made. This made him no stranger to Oscar nominations with 24 nominations, and with Killers of the Flower Moon releasing this year, it's possible that Scorsese vs. Scorsese could occur at the 2024 Oscars. Martin Scorsese's biggest project of the year is Killers of the Flower Moon, and the upcoming gangster movie is receiving a lot of anticipation. The story takes us to the FBI who becomes involved in a series of murders as the movie progresses to look into the assassinations of several Osage Native Americans during an oil dispute. Critics are praising Killers of the Flower Moon, which has already made the rounds at film festivals. However, Scorsese is involved in another movie that has a strong chance of receiving nominations. Thus, Killers of the Flower Moon isn't the only one of his that is eligible for the 2024 Oscars. Scorsese is also working on another film called Maestro. Maestro, an upcoming biopic directed by and starring Bradley Cooper, explores the life of composer Leonard Bernstein and his marriage to Felicia Montalegre. Despite his initial desire to direct Maestro, Martin Scorsese is one of the movie's producers along with Steven Spielberg. Therefore, a Best Picture nomination would also count as a nomination for Scorsese. Due of its stature and subject matter, Maestro is predicted to receive multiple Oscar nominations, similar to Killers of the Flower Moon. There is a distinct possibility that Killers of the Flower Moon and Maestro could be nominated for the same categories, causing two Scorsese films to face off. Killers of the Flower Moon vs. Maestro Both Maestro and Killers of the Flower Moon have a chance to be nominated for multiple Oscars, but which Scorsese film will take home the most statues? The Academy often gives nominations to performances of real-life people, and since Bradley Cooper is playing a real-life composer, a Best Actor nomination seems likely. On top of that, Maestro could easily get nominations for Best Picture, Best Director, Best Original Screenplay, and Best Music. However, these are only educated estimates, as Maestro hasn't been released yet. However, Killers of the Flower Moon has already been watched by some viewers and appears to have a strong chance of winning the Academy Award. Killers of the Flower Moon is anticipated to receive nominations in a number of categories. Scorsese movies are frequently recognized in Best Director and Best Adapted Screenplay categories. Despite receiving numerous nominations, Scorsese has only ever won one Academy Award. If he were to triumph in 2024, it would probably be for Killers of the Flower Moon. If there's any topic that you want me to discuss, please comment below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, turn notification on. See you on the next video.